Now, in form of a brief review as we head into the time of the kingdom of Israel and Judah, as we'll see, there's a split just after Solomon. Let's review what do we what do those kings all have available? What is the message they have available? Well, first they have the Torah which show, gives the law, but it also shows through the narratives in the Torah that the law is not enough, that it is by faith that a man or woman must live in order to be pleasing to God. We see this because Abraham, Jacob, Moses, all failed to fulfill God's law, and yet God counted them as righteous. Why? He counted them as righteous because of their faith. Because of their faith, Moses was a friend of God, for instance, we see now through, the, through David, we see a man after God's own heart. So an example of what these kings ought to be like. And this is what even the Pharisees in Jesus' day are going to point back to and say, oh, they long for this age. This is the, the reason they are so diligent. They want this age, this kingdom age with David to come back. They want this kind of age, this kind of ruler to come back. And so they have an example in David of what they ought to live like. And then we have the wisdom literature, which tells us that at the core, we ought to be living righteous lives with integrity. We ought to do so because we ought to count on the fact that God is good, that he is faithful, that he has a judgment that is coming, which points to eternal life.